y'all. How y'all are tonight? Uh, I just got finished eating. I had me a little old breakfast burrito for supper. <laughs> but uh, I was in there getting some stuff out of the icebox to cook, some hamburger and eggs. And of course, one thing or another. I ran into somebody I didn't even know was in there. A Bud Light Lime, fellas. <laughs> uh, I'm not a big drinker, but I do like, occasionally like to chug one down like my old, bell, old buddy Joe's Neon, him and his PBA, P, uh, uh, Pax Blue, PBR, PBRs. But uh, Bud Light Lime is, is my go-to drink. But anyway... Before I went in there to have supper, I got a phone call. And the last video I made, I put my, my phone number on there for another friend of mine, uh, uh, Mr. X-Man Rules, or I think that's his, his handle. But anyway, we've been trying to get hooked up on this trillion. And uh, I've got it up now, you know, my Yahoo people, they're on there and some other people's on there, but I'm waiting for old buddy X-Man Rules to uh, send me a request or something. And, uh, it's either capital T, Ledoux, L-E-D-O-U-X, 47, or it's my Yahoo email address at Capital T L E D O U X ten twenty one at yahoo.com. That's it's one of the tether. <laughs> but anyway, as a surprise, the other night I was sitting here and I got a phone call. And come to find out, is a little uh, subscriber of mine, he's been a subscriber for quite a while. His name is Seth. He's from Tennessee. And uh, we had a real enjoyable conversation. We how we talked for two or three hours, I guess. He was telling me about uh, school and, and how he's in. He likes uh, Civil War reenactments. And his name, his YouTube name, he doesn't, he doesn't have any... Uh, but a few uh, uh, videos up, BB guns and his Christmas party and stuff like this. But anyway, his name is Seth, and he goes by uh, the the Tennessean Mountain Man. His name is Seth. T e n n e s s E-A-N, Mountain Man. And this is his, his avatar on his, uh, on his YouTube page. So if any of y'all are interested in that Civil War reenactment or, or just want to go by and, and say hi to Seth, I'd appreciate it. You know, he's, he's just a super young kid. Uh, like I said, we talked for, oh, she had a good four hours the first time. And then he called me again today just to check up on me, see how I was doing and everything. <clears throat> Asked me when I was going to make some more videos. And, and uh, we got to talking again, you know, and it, 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 the conversation run the gamut, you know, religion and, and uh, Civil War reenactments and his schooling and and uh, he kind of confided me with a couple things that, you know, um, it was, you know, just things I don't think I need to uh, elaborate here on the air. Uh, other than the fact you say this is a, he's only 14, but this, he's exceptionally smart. Um, he lives in, right out of Memphis and I guess the economy and the uh, drug and alcohol problems are prevalent there in Tennessee, but uh, he has to be in that environment, and for him to be 
as strong as he is and uh, everything, I just think he's just one phenomenal young man that I would be proud to call son or any part of my family. You know, he's just, he's just one uh, nice kid. And, uh, I'm, you know, he seems to have a, a real nice family that's uh, there for him. And, and uh, so we got to talking, you know, and, and a lot of it, uh, some of it had to do for it with his schooling. And I asked him if, you know, if he had a girlfriend. He said no, but I had, you know, he was just, just that's the way it was, but. Anyway, uh, damn, it tastes good every once in a while. <laughs> but uh, I was so happy when I put my phone number up there is for this other young man to call me so I can get on this trillion deal. But I was, I was happy that Seth took the time to uh, to call me up and uh, thank enough of me to call me up and, and want to talk to me and ask me about my health and everything. Uh, so uh, I would really appreciate it if y'all go over there and, and uh, subscribe to his channel. He's, and I want to inspire him he is, he is really interested in, in Civil War and seeing Civil War reenactments. And like I said, he doesn't have a very uh, many videos. He might have five or six, and some of them are on BB guns. One of them is just in him and his room, and one of them is a Christmas party. And uh, But I would like to inspire him to uh, be in the likes the Civil War reenactment thing and knows so much about it. He knows about old generals and and regiments and first one thing and another. And another one of my hobbies is metal detecting. Now somebody in Tennessee and Kentucky and that area in there, uh, if they're into metal detecting, if he would make some videos on different battles around the area, when they was fought, who they was fought against, uh, telling, you know, a little background about the battles, how they come about and how they ended, uh, some key places of where, you know, what plantations, what area of the towns it was, it was in that these battles was fought. You know, that would not only be uh, appreciated by the historical group, but the uh, metal detecting group too, because that'd give them some kind of reference on places to go look for art, uh, Civil War art artifacts. Uh, uh, we spoke uh, a little about a, uh, metal detecting, and, and he said he'd like to have one. And, you know, I think he would really enjoy it if he ever got one because uh, you can, you know, they're so uh, diverse. You can go out and find you five or six dollars and change, you know, in the park. Or you can go into an old field and get all kinds of antique relics out of the ground. And you might get lucky and run into an old Civil War belt buckle, you know. They sell for up and around uh, six hundred dollars or more if you got you know depending on what shape they're in. Or uh, I know one guy he does metal detecting in the rivers, were around the Civil War battlefields and stuff like that. He finds old uh, rifles and where they confiscated a bunch of rifles from the Yankees or Confederates and and. They just dump them in the river, you know, and cannonballs and and uh, <clears throat> shirt buttons and, and you name it, you know, they find it. So uh, I think Seth would uh, do a video 
on something like that, you know, make it just a little historical Civil War video, I think it would uh, boost his channel immensely. So, uh, anyway, y'all, I'm, as far as I'm going, I'm, I'm hanging in there. Uh, I've got a little chest cold and head cold, and my doctor's giving me medication, and I'm getting it over there. I got sniffles, and, and, uh, first one thing or another, but this medicine's helping immensely. So, uh, I don't know, but I'm, I'm thinking I need some more lighting in this room. Maybe something on this other side here, or is it this side? Anyway, one of the sides, it's like this. This side over here is too dark for some reason, in my way of opinion, anyway. But I'm going to have to work, that's something I'm going to have to work on. So, uh, Mr. X-Man Rules, uh, keep on trying that trillion. I got mine up. And I'm just waiting for an invite or whatever. It's like I, I told you, I give me my Yahoo address or capital T Ledoux 47. And uh, so I'm waiting on you to uh, send me a friend's request. And uh, Seth, you take care, little buddy. And it's a, my pleasure to know you. You're an exceptional young man. And I just thank the world of you. Joe's Neon, it's time you made a video, dude. Ain't heard from you in a long time. So, uh, Ruby Wan Kenobi, what you doing, bud? I ain't heard from you in a while either. So, <laughs> and uh, Scouting Free in Germany, Terry up in Canada. Uh, you know, there's, there's just so many people. I've, I've got it. A couple of little, uh, little gals uh, in Sweden, I can't pronounce her name. She's just the cutest little thing, man. She goes out and builds her little fires and does her little cooking. And, and I just love her little accent, you know, and, and uh, Rosilla or, or something like that. But I just love her. I mean, she just, she, I just can't wait for her to make a new video. And, uh, uh, Billy, Billy Bew, uh, Billy Ryu, uh, I ain't seen from you in a while, I know you're, uh, I think you're in, what, Hong Kong or Taiwan or someplace like that, but anyway, y'all, <clears throat> y'all take a reason to have a good day, and I just want to jump on here and, and uh, uh, tell you what's going on, so, y'all take care. God bless. I love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.